In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the mixer that I use for my live streaming setup here on my PC. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Except today, we're a bit music adjacent because I've had requests from folks to show the gear that I use for my live streaming. So when I do my weekly live Q&A shows or any other live streams here on Studio Live today, this is the gear I use, the Samson MixPad MXP124FX. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick guided tour of how I use this for my live streaming. Now the video footage you're going to see is actually from a live stream that I did for my patrons over on patreon.com. So if you want more information about supporting me on Patreon, you can check the link up there or down in the description. And while you're down there, if you are interested in the Samson MixPad or any of the other gear I recommend, there is links to my gear guide and to this particular mixer in the description as well. So let's now jump over to the video and take a look. Uh, but when you're live streaming, you don't need to actually use the sound card on your PC and you don't need to connect anything back in because it's all hybrid in there. So let's imagine that you have, and because you've got like sends and receives for your, your external gear on the Zoom, what basically happens is the Zoom is the hub. So your mixer is the hub of everything. Everything goes into the mixer or, or goes through the mixer and then sort of loops back into the inputs of the mixer. All of those inputs are then mixed down to the output and that output is sent not only directly to your speakers and not only out of the output from the mixer, so you, you can send it to speakers or send it somewhere else, but it also sends that mix via USB back to your PC. So, and it can do cool things like it can incorporate the sound from your PC as well as the sounds going back in. So it can kind of do a mix of that. So when I'm doing live streaming, if I play back a track, so let's say I play a video on my screen here, it will play that back through my mixer and then it'll loop back around. Now you have to be careful that you don't loop back and get one of these endless loops sort of repeating things, but it'll loop it back around. Uh, so that's that's the, the cool thing that we can do. Let's take it over. Well, this, this, this will be experimental. So if this fails dismally, I apologize, but I'm going to for the first time. Do I have anything embarrassing over there? I hope not. That's all right. You folks are kind people, so you won't judge me on this. We're going to come around and forgive my shaky camera. We're going to come around and take a look at my mixer here. So here is what I'm going through right now. And this should hopefully be useful for you and, and help you understand a few things that we've got going on here. So in channel one there, you can see my microphone is plugged in. In channel two, I've got a guitar cable plugged in, so I can use those. Down here, the only thing that's up is the microphone. Let me just swap hands. So if I, if I turn that up, that microphone volume is going to go up. If I turn it down, it goes down. And this is all coming through as USB audio that's coming in to my... Uh, to my computer, and this is the audio that you're hearing. Oop, I left myself up a bit too much. Come back down a bit. There you go. Uh, so up here, you can see I've got things like my compressor that's built into this mixer. I've got the compressor set, a little bit of EQ. That's how I get that low end, and you can see behind the behind the curtain here. Uh, I don't have any effects. Well, I do have the effect on there, but the main effects over here is off, so there's no reverb, there's no um, delay or anything coming through at the moment. All of my other channels are down, and the only other channel I have up at the moment is this one here. So this is channel 11 and 12, and if you look up the top here, this is where my outboard gear is coming in. So I've got two stereo inputs there. One of those is, uh, where is my plug? One of those is this, well, we're getting a bit shaky here, so it's like the Blair Witch Project. One of this is a quarter inch, so this is what I can plug in. So say I want to plug into my iPad, which is sitting down here. I can plug quarter inch into iPad, and then that goes into that channel there. The other one is a two RCA output, so the other plug over here. That one goes down around the other side of the speaker there, which is a two RCA output. Uh, so that if I've got a another device, so like my audio interfaces and other things, I can plug those in and use there. There's the headphone jack that's sending the headphone audio out to my face and to my ears. And then down here, this is the interesting part. Let me move that cable. Oh. Sorry again. I, I didn't plan to do this, but when, uh, when DJ Southpaw had this question, I thought, why not actually show you this? So down here, we have the USB function. So that little yellow dial is saying uh, what can actually come in. And I'll, I'll play something back in a moment. So what I can do, see it's got tape USB. It says to main mix. 
and then that yellow is how much is dialing in and that red one is my headphones so how much i can actually hear in my headphones right now and there i've got my meter so hello i should be yep right there on the orange but not clipping so pushing up closer to uh, minus six or to, to zero dB, just so that I know that there's a good, healthy audio coming through. And that's kind of it. So this is this is my mixer now. This is my current one, my Samson MixPad MXP124. In fact, why don't I just look there? There it is, MXP124FX Mixing Console. And because it has USB out, it's super handy because I just set it as my audio input here in StreamYard, and it does the rest. So let's... Uh, Let's come out of here. Let's put my camera carefully back up. Whoop, you can see my curtains. You can see my curtains. You can see my treadmill. We'll bring it back around. And we're back up there. Whew, that was, uh, that was hard on the old shoulders uh, holding that over there. Uh, but hopefully that, um, yeah, hopefully that, uh, that actually helps out and shows you what we do here. And the beauty part is I can use that mixer not only for live streaming, but I can use it to send stereo audio to Reaper to actually record in there. So, and you would have seen there, it's got four channels, so four different mic pre's. If I wanted to record, say, two things at once, all I need to do is pan one hard left and pan one hard right, and then I can record those as two channels. So even though it's not technically a two-channel mixer, it kind of is because it's a stereo mixer, it allows me to record two things. So I plug, as you saw, I had the mic in channel one, the guitar in channel two. If I wanted to record those two at once on two separate channels, all I need to do is pan the mic left, pan the guitar right, set up my inputs to be left and right, and I'm good to go.